This um, video will demonstrate how to create a multi-state object with text um, for the images. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I've noticed that all of my images are not um, filling, the, filling the frame. So I'm going to select all of my images and then I'm going to right click and go to my fitting option, fill frame proportionally. Okay, so now I can see all of my images. I can see as much of them as possible and I'm, I'm going to be fine with how they're positioned in there. So I'm just going to leave them like that. Then the next thing I need to do is make sure that I get all of the ingredients of my, my, um, my image and uh, corresponding text lined up um, correctly. So I've got my images uh, um, sitting side by side and I'm going to select all of them and then I need to use my align panel. I'm in the digital publishing uh, workspace and the align panel is not part of that. So I'm going to go up to my window drop down object and layout and select my align panel. Um, in this way I can line all of these objects up at the top. I'm not going to worry about how they're distributed because that doesn't really matter right now. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go put the appropriate text underneath the appropriate dog image. And so first my boxer, now my golden, or my German short hair pointer, my Weimaraner, and my mutt. Okay, so for each one of these, I'm going to select the image and its corresponding text with my selection tool. And I'm just going to use my align horizontal centers to make sure that that text is underneath um, or is uh, aligned in the center of the image. And I'm going to repeat this for the next three images. Okay. So, all right. So my text is now, my, my images are lined up. They're all sitting at the same, um, the same place aligned at the top. My text is all lined up um, centered below each of the images, but the space between the text and the image, each one of them is probably slightly different. So I'm going to um, decide what um, spacing I like the best, and I think that the German short hair pointer is probably a good key object to focus on. Um, so I'm going to select all of my text, and then I'm going to select the GSP and that lights up. So that becomes my key object and so now when I align um, it's aligned to this key object. Okay. So what I'm going to do is take all of this text and align it to the top edges following where the GSP is. Okay. So now they're all lined up and evenly spaced and they all match. Now the next thing that I do is I take the image and its corresponding text and group that. So I'm going to repeat that grouping. Controller Command G on selected items will group them. Okay, so now I have th um, four groups and then the next step um, is the, the step in which I actually make my, my um, multi-state object. So the next thing that I'm going to do is to align all of these objects on top of each other. And I'm going to do that by aligning the horizontal and the vertical centers. Okay, so now I've got four things sitting on top of each other and you can see that I can, um, the, the text is coming through. And now what I'm going to do is select this collection of stacked objects and in my digital publishing workspace, I'm going to go to Object States. And then at the bottom of Object States, I'm going to click on the Convert Selection to Multi-State Object. Okay, so now I have my, um, my multi-state object and I, and I can see the order in which I'm going to view these um, states. And, um, and if that's fine, I can just leave them there. I can also name these if I want to. But I don't really see any reason to do that right now. So I'm going to fold that panel back up. So the, the next thing I need to do 
um, and I'm just going to move this to the center of my page. The next thing I need to do is find out a way to get from one state to the other. And I'm going to do that with um, a button. So I need some object to make a button out of. And um, what I plan on doing is just creating a shape and um, making it into a, an arrow. So I'm selecting the polygon tool. I know that's going to give me a six-sided polygon. But I also know that if I go to the object drop-down menu, I can convert this shape to a triangle. And with that triangle, I can make it more narrower and more like an arrow. I can fill that in with some sort of a color. And I can hold my Option or Alt key down as I'm moving this and make a, um, a duplicate of it. And then with each one of these, I'm going to lay it on its side. So one arrow is pointing in one direction and the other arrow is pointing in the other direction. Okay, so then I'm going to put these um, arrows, buttons that will become buttons um, approximately in the right spot. And to make each one of these graphics a button itself, I click on it first. And then in my digital publishing menu, I click on buttons and I say that the thing that I want to do, the type of thing is a button and the name of my button uh, on the right hand side is going to be next. And then on the event of release or tap, I am going to take the action, go to the next state. A lot of people will put go to the next page um, or go to next um, something, uh, but it is go to the next state because we're in a multi-state object. So I'm going to go to the next state and then I'm going to make sure that it stops at the last state. Okay, so I've got one button created. I'm going to click on the other image and I'm going to say that it also is a button. I'm going to make it previous, its name, previous. And on the event of release or tap, the action is going to go to the previous state and then it is going to stop at the first state. Um, to make sure that this works, I'm going to come down to the bottom left hand corner of this screen where I can preview my, um, my spread. And I can, if it's this too small, I can drag the corners to make it bigger and put this where I can see it and then I can click on these buttons and see that uh, my right button does go to the right next state and um, stop at the end and my left previous button goes um, to the left or to the previous state and stops at the end. I also see that my text is nicely aligned underneath the center of each one of my images. And that is how you create a multi-state object with text that has navigation.